Okay, so the video I'm going to show you today is how to create this effect, which is a film strip um, video, or a, a film strip uh, generator for Final Cut Pro. So I use this as an introduction to my Partner Connect series, and we'll go ahead and see how we can do it. So you create a, a new generator, and I like to go to fit here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a really big uh, black box. And then we're gonna put some, um, some stuff in front of it. But just so we, we keep things real, we're, we're gonna go ahead and um, create a new group first so we can come in here and um, and keep things under control. So the first group is going to be, I'm just going to call this one uh, background because we're going to we're going to be um, deleting this at the end, and then we'll have this one be film strip. We'll go ahead and add just a square. We'll take up the whole thing. And then we'll add this here. Problem is we gotta put it under there. Okay, so now we've got this background that we'll use. And the next thing to do is we're gonna create another square, but it's gonna take up the bottom piece of this. Um, Let's see, we don't need that. And we're gonna make this be part of the film strip. So we're gonna rename this to uh, film. And we're gonna relocate it right like this. So this is going to basically move uh, to the left. So that's basically how it works. Um, we gotta rearrange these. So we're gonna move the film strip above that. There we go. And we're gonna make it black. So let's go in here and make this black. And you can make it different colors, etc. cetera. Um, now we're gonna zoom in a little bit. And we want a little bit showing on the bottom, uh, just so some background comes through. And now we're gonna position a bunch of drop areas on here, which is gonna represent uh, the actual videos. So we'll do drop zones all throughout here. Um, and we want to put it on the film. So we're going to make all of these drop zones the same, the same um, tight and width. Okay, so we have all the drop zones and we can make this as, as big as we want. Um, right now, this whole entire generator is 34 seconds long. So what we wanna do is we wanna add a behavior to this where we're gonna do a basic motion and a move. And the move is going to be way over here. Let's see how fast that is. And we want to make sure the Y is zero because we don't want it to be moving up and down. 
So if we play this, this is what it looks like right now. This is the speed. There you go. So depending on how long you want your intro to be, you know, depends on how many drop zones you're going to need and how far you want it to actually move. So you could see there, we're only about three quarters of the way. We want it to kind of stop like right there. So we're going to have to bring the drop zone in quite a bit. So let's do, let's do this. And basically we want to go all the way to the end here and we want it to end up right there. So we don't want it to go any further. So that's as far as it goes. So now it'll probably be a little faster. So let's try it out. Or a little slower, sorry. There you go. So that's kind of what it looks like so far. And you can, you know, you can up the zones or you can, you can make them less. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add um, a, a bunch of uh, see-through buttons here or uh, slots here for the actual film strip. So what we do is we can come in here and we can add a mask. So we could take this mask. Uh, let's delete that. So we're going to come in and we're going to add a mask and we're going to draw it right here on the film object and and then we're going to mask and we're going to subtract. So now we have to basically take this and we're going to keep duplicating it. And move it over. Duplicate. Move it over. Okay, so basically that's pretty much it. So if we play it, we've got a scrolling view of our videos. So if we save this, we can put, um, actually I'm going to come in here, I'm going to create a new category, code by Larry, and film strip generator. And I'm going to go ahead and save the preview mode and include, well, actually no, we want to, we want to turn off the background. We're not going to use that. So we turn it off. Now we'll save it. Uh, and we'll go by Larry and we'll do film, film strip generator. Publish. So this is going to go ahead and publish it to Final Cut Pro, which then we can go ahead and see how it looks. So let's go check it out. If I go to my code by Larry and we'll create a uh, create 
create a new project here called it's a new project film strip test and if we go to our generators under code by Larry we can see our film strip and we can put it in here and you can see it has all of our drop zones here so we can actually come in and pick some of these videos as drop zones. So you just select, you click on it, and then you pick the video that you want. So we'll apply the clip. We can put a little background on it. I just, uh, we'll do like clouds. And there it is. So we'll let that, we'll go ahead and let that uh, render. We'll bring it down a little bit so you can see it. And we'll let that finish up and then we'll play it. See if this works. Okay, so there you go. That was pretty basic, pretty easy now. Huh? Okay, and that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.